think we are good to go. This is how it was supposed to go. We head out to Banff where we meet Joel's family, bow the canoes, and head out on the lake to find our campsite and repeat that for the next two days. But instead, disaster struck and we were forced to change our plans. So, what happened? Joel's now very sick. And it looks like we might be canceling. It's absolutely crazy how like drop of a dime the sickness is. He was fine until like an hour ago. You excited to go canoeing? I am very excited. It's a slippery slope when you start buying active wear. That's when you become a yoga mom. As you can see, our bunk to boot is just packed full of a bunch of stuff. What is Becca and Joel up to today? Well, we are going on a canoe trip with Joel's family. That's mom, dad, Riley, Drew, and to spice things up, we're throwing in my little brother, Bobby. People say it'll be fun. I really don't think so. You know, I've never done it. So you can't say no till you've done something, right? That's the good old sketch one saying for you. I don't know why I'm doing it. Because I love Joel. I, I am going to have a good time. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I just keep on thinking of like wet sandals. I'm gonna have like wet feet. Oh gosh. <laughs> if I cry now, I won't stop, so I can't do it. Uh. And then Joel went to Mech and got me one of those like female fake penises things. God, where's my dignity going? Like, honestly. Ugh. I can't wait. It's been a long time. A little bit more progression on today. Joel's now very sick. That's a big one up there. On the bed? No, just in the bed, and then we'll take it out for a night on our camera. I'm so glad you came out here because let me tell you, I was about to unpack all this to pack that up. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty rotten today. And it looks like we might be canceling the canoe part of the trip. And just doing a normal camp instead. See how I'm doing. Oh. So it's on Bobby and me to get the job done. And we haven't even mounted a canoe. All right, Bobby, what do you think? I, I don't know. Now, Joel was saying something about getting some two by fours and then creating something for the canoe to rest on and then strapping that down so it's like super secure to the like wooden pieces. Do you know how to use a ratchet strap? Yeah. Okay, do you think we could figure this out on our own without Joel? I don't know how you're supposed to put wood down and keep it there. Like you have to screw it into the van. I'm trying to enlist help with my older brother, with, with Daniel, who's also one of my younger brothers. Uh, yeah, 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 ve. You're confirming what I confirmed. This was probably an elusive task to begin with. But can we... How big, how big is the canoe? Can it just fit inside here? Apparently they tried that. Who? Uh, Bobby and Dan, uh, and Joel already tried putting it in earlier. This Wait, is, but, but this actually... This is like the, my biggest nightmare. I was like so stressed about going canoeing and I was like, you know what, it's fine. Joel knows how to do everything. And now he's sick. Ugh. <laughs> this whole thing has been nothing but stress for me. Ready for it to rest on, and then strap it down. But where, uh, where would you strap it? Where would you strap it? And also, were you planning on screwing the pieces into the top of the roof? Can I put in the grooves on the roof so they don't move? Yeah. And then strap it down and it would be stuck. No, but where are you strapping it to? Because you don't have windows to, that open, so you can't go like... The, the chassis, the bottom. All, the, all the way around the whole van? Oh 
when I was sick. But you just have an eating disorder. I did not <laughs> say that. You did. No, I just said, are you sure you don't have, I was being a mom. He's sicker than a dog, which is making me feel a whole lot better about how sick I was on Friday because I didn't, couldn't do S-E-I-T. No, never mind. How <laughs> do you spell that? S-H-I-T? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all I can say is Joel is out, which is not good. It's actually not good because Bobby and I are basically like, well, we might not be leaving today. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. You didn't want to go in the first place. <laughs> it's fine. Well, that looks like rain, and I gotta say, rain and canoes I don't think mix, so for the best that we are not canoeing anymore. They've decided that we are just going to go camping instead. We made it. You excited? We're now just trying to find a new campground because this one is full and we're no longer canoeing because of Joel being sick. He's in the back sleeping. So now we're gonna go find a First come, first serve campsite. Believe it or not, Bobby and I could not figure out how to get the canoe on top of the van. Nope. We are here camping and it is just freezing. It's so cold. It's 17 in the van, which means it's colder outside. But you know who can do camping in the rain? It's gonna be the bronze. So they've made camping out here in the rain as comfortable as you can possibly make camping out in the rain. I gotta show you this setup. Let's see if we have it, eh? We're voting? Okay. This yeah, is our... black is, is good and red is bad. But you, need, <laughs> but, but you need both in order to have a balance. Okay. And we're um, choosing, we're choosing between a long hike, a long, just a long hike. What's the choice? So, so each person gets two cards, a heart and a club. The heart represents doing something good for your heart and going for a long oh, hike. Oh, good for your heart. If you put down a club, that means you're voting to go to Banff and do the, the short hike along the lake. I'm supposed to do it up right you're side up. You're supposed to be blind. <laughs> you don't have to look. And now mom will do the official You have to count. shuffle them first. You have to oh, do... I have to shuffle them. Ooh. Yeah. Well, everybody ready for an adventure? That's a damn good view. Damn! Riding on top of a... No, okay, that was bad. I don't have anything yet. You know what? <laughs> I don't hear you trying. <laughs> Got enough Anyone butter on there, Dad? Nope. Well. The true gem of the trip was, and always will be, the fact that we get to spend time with family. I'm sure Joel will find the perfect time to coerce me to try canoeing again, <laughs> but this trip wasn't meant to be the one. Bobby's back there just living his best life. So what seemed like a catastrophe at the beginning of the trip with Joel's sickness was only a minor setback. 